In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download files on Linux using WGET. So we are going to use an example data here. It can be found on my GitHub repo here. I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. By the way, for each of these data sets, I've already made tutorials on them. So if you're interested, check the description box, you'll find a link to those videos. All right, so we will focus on just one of them, one or two of them. So let's just use the diabetes schema here so if you want to download you need to get a download link so on github if you want the download link for a file so click it and then you'll be sent to this page so when we are here you just come to this side here when you come to raw right click it and you get the link copy link so i'll copy it all right, so I've copied the download link. Okay, you can use any download link of your choice as well. All right, so let's get to the terminal. Now on the terminal, we will download. So to download, you say wget and you supply it with your link like this, and then you can execute the command. So this will download the file for you. All right, okay. Now let's continue. So let's clear the screen and continue. Let's do an ls and we are going to find our file there. All right. Now let's try another one. Let's visit this page here. This also has some data sets. I'll leave the link to this page also in the description box. And again, I have reproduced this tutorial. So if you're interested, check the description box. You'll find a link to that video. All right. So on this page, scroll down. To this side, get data, click it, then you have the data here. So let's use any of them. I'll use the test X. So I'll just copy the link. This is straightforward. So I'll copy it and move to the terminal. All right. So I'll use wget again and then I'll paste the link there. So let's execute this command. All right. So you'll see that the file has been downloaded. So let us interrupt this download. Let's stop it. Now it's at 6% or let's say 7%. So let's stop it. All right. So you can have situations where you are downloading a file and then it gets interrupted for um, some reason or reasons. And so with wget, it's possible to fix this. It's possible to fix a broken down. It's possible to resume a download. So I'll show you how to do that also here. So to do that, you say wget of, for now, let's just do an ls first to check the file. So we have it here. So this is not complete, all right? So to resume the download or to fix the broken download, you can say wget and you say dash c to indicate continue. And then you paste the link there. So let's execute this command. So once you do that, you realize that it will start from, or it, it will continue from where it stopped. That's a 7%. And then it moves on in that order. And so with the dash C, it's very handy because you don't have to start your download all over again. Just continue from where you left off and then you'll be fine. So let's wait for the download to get done for us. All right, the file has been downloaded, so let's check. So let's run ls and we are going to find the file there. This is it. All right, now let's do something else. With wget, let's just use this one again. I will copy the link. I'll just go back to the terminal. All right, so with wget, let's say wget-c again, and then let's paste this link. Any of them is fine. Or you can also use the previous one. Let's just do it again. The previous one here, that's also fine. All right, any of them is fine. So if you have the .c, and then the file has already been downloaded, let's try this. If it has been downloaded already, then the wget will tell you the file is already fully retrieved, nothing to do because of the C. 
But if you don't add it as C, then this is what happens. We will try with this one again. I'll say W get and I'll paste this one. So let's execute this command. All right. So if you do it, this is what's going to happen. The file exists. Okay. This one here is this. That's the name. So there's a, name, a file with the name, this one here. And so because of that, W get will rename the new file if it has the same name and what is already existing. I repeat. If a file, a file with a, a name like this exists, that's an example. And then what you are downloading also has the same name. Then the new file will be given a number like this one here. Irrespective of whether this file has been completely downloaded or not. So far as it exists, the renaming will be done. Let's check. Let's do an LS We are going to find it there. Okay. So this is where the dash C comes in hand. So with the dash C, if the file exists and it's broken, then it will resume. W get will resume it for you. If it's already downloaded, then W get will tell you that it's fully retrieved. So nothing to do. All right. Sometimes you may want to download and then rename. All right. You will, you may want to download the file and then rename it. Let's try with another one. Let's say this one here. We can use any one of the data here. Let's just try this. Oh uh, yeah, any of them is fine. So just try with any file. This is a time to experiment. So let's say you want to rename a file. You want to download and rename. You can say W get and then you can supply it with a link and you can say dash O and you can give the file a name. So here you can see test.csv like this. So dash O here will indicate the name that should be given to the file after download. If you don't specify, then it takes the original name. Now let's execute this command. All right, so if you do it, we have, it says saving to, and we have the name here. There's the name that has been given to the file. So we'll do an ls and you'll find it that that's what test.csv. So this can be done. Let's try something else. Let's say we have a directory called download. So I say make the download. Let's do an ls to check. And then you want to download and then place in this directory. It's possible to do that in WGET. So to do that, you say W gets, you supply your link, and then you say dash P uppercase. And then you indicate the directory which the download should be sent to. So here in our case is download. So let's execute this command. All right, so if you do that, you have this notification saving to, you have download slash this. So it has been down to the directory. So let's ls into that directory. We are going to find it there. Okay, so these are simple tricks you can use when downloading files. All right. So this is how we use WGS to download files. So there are other options you can use. So just check the manual and then you find some useful tips there. All right. So in the next episode, I'm going to try to make a tutorial where I show how to use curl also to download. So make sure to come back. And also, you can check this playlist. It has tutorials on Linux. So especially for a beginner, uh, these tutorials will help you to get started.